I wanted to briefly talk to you about amps and what actually makes amps sound good with speakers. And of course, I don't confess to be a trained electronics engineer or anything, but it's just something from my experience that I've noticed on musical equipment, on, spe on amps and speakers combined. Some sound really good, some don't sound so good. Now, speakers work by going in and out and they vibrate really quick, hundreds of times a second. That moves the air, the air moving moves our eardrums and we hear it. So the power supply, what it does, it gives it a bigger voltage swing from the speaker leads to the speaker. It makes the cone move better and just more. So with a good amp, with a great power supply, they sound better than a cheaper amp with a smaller power supply. So this is a really fundamental thing with electronics and amplifiers. Even going back to my early teens, I can remember my brother getting this American 30 watt all valve combo and it just had this presence to it. It was the first time I'd ever really heard a good amp, but the volume knob was like a volcano ready to erupt and it just had this potential to move the air. It was just incredible. And every other good valve amp that I've ever used in my life has had that same thing. It's just like this feeling of the volume being there, of this power being there. And that is, again, that's the voltage swing at work. It's quite technical, but to make it really simple, I'll tell you a true story of mine. Going back many years anyway, I built myself a PA. So we made 18 inch bass bins and we made mid and top cabs. And in the process, I made myself a mid and top power amp. Now, I got a pair of uh, 250 watt circuit boards, 250 watts aside from Maplin's, and built this 500 watt stereo power amp. I also used the standard Maplin's power supply kit that went with the amps. It sounded fine. I put XLR connectors on, you know, mic leads to the speakers. It was really clean, there was no hum, it was sounded fine. Anyway, one of my friends was working for British Rail at the time, and one day he came home with this biggest pair of capacitors that I've ever seen in my life. The capacitors were actually used for changing points. That was their job. So you're talking about a massive voltage swing from this capacitor. Anyway, so what happened, it turned out that I actually got this pair of capacitors, these point changing, rail changing capacitors, and they were the same rating as the capacitors that I already had in the power supply. But obviously the ones that I had from Maplin's were like this, and these ones were like that. I decided to upgrade the capacitors in this amp. So it was a bit of a squeeze because of the size, so we tried it out with the same speakers and it just sounded phenomenal. I just couldn't believe how changing the power supply could make such a massive difference. That the actual audio sounded better. It wasn't slight, it had more dynamics, more punch. It just sounded hugely different. So that's what's happening when you hear good equipment, be it hi-fi or PA, it's that the amps are driving the speakers really well. Because I've been doing this 20 or 30 years, I can literally hear when the equipment's good, because you can literally hear the voltage swing. It sounds exciting to the ear. You don't have to be a technician to know when something's sounding magic. I owned a Ampeg V10 100 watt head, right? And it was quite basic, it just had volume channels, two channels with volumes and tone, no gain control, but it didn't matter, I was just after clean channels, and then I could put on fuzz boxes to achieve my dirty channels, you know, by using overdrive pedals, so that's how I used the amp. But I've never seen so many valves inside it, it must have had 18 to 20 valves in it, it was ridiculous, and the weight of it, it was like an anvil, so again, the sign of good equipment. And that's something that I've really found on my new amp that I've bought as well. It's got a really good voltage swing because any good bit of equipment has got this punch, this sort of delivery. It doesn't matter if it's on the clean channel or the gain channel, it should have this feeling to it. And that is mainly the voltage swing. So anyway, I hope 
that I've given you a bit of an insight into why some equipment sounds better than others. I know it's not a particularly technical explanation, but it still it gets the point across. Well, that just about wraps everything up. Take care all, and laters. See you soon. Nearly out.